This is an ending spoiler for the movie Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Voldemort announces Harry's apparent death to everyone at Hogwarts, and that anyone who defies him will be killed. As Neville gives a defiant speech, Harry reveals he's alive. Neville draws the sword Gryffindor from the Sorting Cat, and as Harry engages Voldemort in a duel throughout the castle, Neville decapitates Nagini, leaving Voldemort mortal. Molly Weasley kills Bellatrix in the Great Hall. The final stand of Harry and Voldemort's fight is Voldemort's own killing curse, rebounding and obliterating him. After the battle, Harry explains that the Elder One had recognized him as its master because he had disarmed Draco at the Malfoy Manor, who in turn had disarmed its previous owner, Dumbledore. Harry snaps the Elder Wand, rejecting its power. Nineteen years later, Harry and Ginny Potter, with Ron and Hermione Weasley, watch proudly as their children leave for Hogwarts from King's Cross Station. That's the ending. Thanks for watching this video.